Well, we might have finished Red Alert 3, but lo and behold, we are continuing on the Command & Conquer series, this time with the one and only Command & Conquer 3, Tiberium Wars, which is pretty much the main storyline, which is around Tiberium and all that good stuff. Kane as well. Who can't love Kane, the guy that never ages, Joe Kukan. Let's go ahead and start off with the GDI campaign. This will be actually my first Command & Conquer Tiberium series game, but I'm very much looking forward to it. Hopefully all of you guys are too. And the cutscenes are very, very good. Pretty much like all the Man Conquer series as well. Philadelphia uplink successful. And it will try to stay quiet during the cutscenes as well. Today's threat level is low. The state of the planet is deteriorating. Tiberium infestation has reached critical levels. Red zones have suffered the worst contamination and cannot support human life. Yellow zones are dangerously contaminated, but contain most of the world's population. Decades of war and civil unrest have left these regions in a state of social collapse. The Brotherhood of Nod operates virtually unchallenged in these zones. They take advantage of the chaos to recruit members and disguise their military infrastructure. Nod's leader is a charismatic figure we know only as Kane. Kane is determined to accelerate the spread of Tiberium, believing it is the catalyst for the next stage of human evolution. However, in recent years, the Brotherhood has been suspiciously quiet, with little terrorist activity. The remainder of the Earth's surface is unscarred by Tiberium outbreak. These blue zones are considered the last refuge and hope of the civilized world, and are under the protection of the Global Defense Initiative. You have been assigned command of the GDI forces stationed on the eastern seaboard of the United States. Good luck, Commander. Hopefully, we won't need that good luck, but this is the prologue. Then there's Act 1, 2, and 3, I'm pretty sure. All in all, there's about 18 missions. GDI Central Command in Washington. BC, that is. Or DC. I think. Anyways. After all, she did say it's the East Coast, so it would be Washington, D.C. General Jack Granger, good to have you on board. These, these are interesting times. I don't know if you know it, but InOps has downgraded Nod's threat level to low. With Kane apparently dead, Nod's been fractured by internal power struggles. Recruitment's down 25%, and they've abandoned four bases in the last year. The prediction is another decade of peace. Me? I say it's the calm before the storm. For 28 years of fighting out, there's one thing I can say with absolute certainty. As long as there's Tiberium on Earth, not as a serious threat. If our intel says otherwise, it's because Nod wants us to take them off our radar. That's why I want you to go to North Carolina. Zone security stop would look like a Protoss delivery truck yesterday, but it turned out to be a Nod vehicle. Before it could be searched, the driver blew it up himself along with it. I want you to take some troops down there, see what you can turn up. Hopefully I'm wrong and this is just a false alarm. But if I'm right, be prepared for the worst. This is Lieutenant Sandra Telfair. She's from InOps. She'll give you all the details of the mission. Lieutenant? Thank you. Good afternoon, Commander. Glad to be of service. Here's what we know so far. After the delivery truck incident, we turned Sky Sentry onto the area. And bingo, we located a high output subterra energy grid in the middle of nowhere. Obviously, Nod's up to no good. Your ace in the hole is an old base we have there. Bring it back online and you can recon the entire area. My advice is to engage the enemy only if necessary. No telling what those maniacs are hiding down there. Good luck, Commander. I'm here if you need me. Right, yeah, off we're going to North Carolina. Badlands, to be exact. You've got to give credit to the guys that made this game, though, because of uh, they predicted what the way the wars would be fought in the next couple of years. Back in 1995, with terrorist organizations being nod against the Allies, GDI. Greetings, Commander. Quite smart this what they GDI did. Battle Command here to get you up to speed on some of the ground operations for this mission. Holy echo there, mate! You definitely know how to echo. Commander. We need you to locate the old GDI outpost and investigate rumors of a Nod presence in the area. This way, rifles. And there's still all the uh, famous actors in the cutscenes. Yeah, yeah. I don't really need help. This is just pretty much the tutorial mission. 
There is a separate tutorial, but it's. I don't really think I'll need to do the tutorial. After all, this is the original Command and Conquer, what I know and love. Eradicate the Nod forces occupying our outpost. Once those forces are evicted, we'll restore the outpost remotely, granting you access. Well, before you even finish the had access. Understood. Data updated. Squad ready. Tiberium is the only resource you need to collect. Once you've built a refinery, your harvester will automatically seek it out. Once the harvester is full or the field is depleted, the harvester will return and begin refining the Tiberium. Intelligence data updated. Go on, give me some more intel so I can uh, elaborate. This is your mobile construction vehicle. Once it is unpacked, it'll allow you to construct various structures. Intelligence data updated. All right, so this has got like all the goody guys that we've been, uh, well, that you guys probably all know and love if you played the Command Conquer series. You've got the GIs Commander, and. You will need a bigger force to stop Nod. Select your construction yard or the structure tab on the command bar, then click the barracks icon. Yeah, before we were so really interrupted, they've Incoming got all the good before stuff. Engaging on, more Nod forces. Like the mammoth tanks, the Nod's got Reporting scorpion in. tanks, stealth tanks. Oh, it's just so good. Brings back the memories really, really well. I'm really looking forward to this uh, decade, not decade, but Command Conquer, the uh, collection or something, which will have all the Command Conquer series games on one DVD, or at least a couple of units. Multiple structures of the same type allow for additional build cues. Intelligence data updated. Rifle squad ready. Okay, I'm pretty sure this mission needs us to build three. There we go. Squad ready. Squad ready. I know I don't need to build. Okay. We need to wait out. You can't destroy these guys at all, which sucks. They're clearly some terrorists. Commander, your base is low. Suicide bomb is more additional cycling. Exactly. Build a power plant from your production tab. Building. Right, we're on to that. Incoming transmission. To restore your base to full power, build a power plant. Right, I'm In gonna meantime, completely ignore that lady. Remove buildings from the power grid to free up more power. This will allow the rest of your base to continue functioning. To do this, click on the lightning bolt button at the top of your command bar, then click on a structure. Only structures that require power can be turned off. You may need to turn off more than one structure in order to meet your power requirements. Construction complete. There is no need to do any of that options. though. Objective complete. Well done. The green power bar located on the left side of the minimap indicates that your base now has enough power. Yes, sir. Incoming transmission. Rifle repair the command post to help restore this GDI base to full operational capacity. Okay, you want me to repair this? Repairing. Objective complete. Not too bad. We've got a lot of money. All right, so now we need to go ahead and uh, destroy this semi base. It seems really not as noticed. Base. They're sending a force to destroy our base. Quickly build and deploy a watchtower base defense from the support structure tab. New bonus objective. Rifle squad. Construction Understood. complete. Just suck him in and get another watch tower. You don't really need to, but it'll do. After all, we've got these uh, star veterancy guys, so they pretty much make mincemeat out of humans. All right, Commander. You need to push forward and destroy the Nod outpost guarding that bridge. I'm sending reinforcements now. Roger that, sir. Incoming transmission. Nod presence appears to be minor. Eliminate these dangerous Nod structures. Light them up. All right, now she's given us reinforcements, and they're arrived. just uh, New rocketeers or missile squads. We're good against anti-air and vehicles. But, uh, their anti-air infantry, more rather. The Nod presence, additional squads of missile soldiers have been requisitioned. Missiles are much more effective against structures than standard GDI rifles. Objective complete. Squad Intelligence ready. Data squad ready for combat. Clear to engage. New bonus objective. Incoming transmission. Further investigation of the area is needed. Right. Typical engineers, just like in Red Alert 3, you're going to have to capture that to repair the bridge might as well capture this Tiberian silo, silo as well second they can capture enemy structures and tech buildings allowing you full control of these structures to do this select your engineer and then right click on the structure you wish to repair or capture i'm well ahead of you mate engineers are not one of buildings cannot protect themselves additional engineers can be trained at the barracks new unit types available for training at the barracks 
Intelligence data updated. Objective complete. Battlefield yes, expanded. Sir. New bonus objective. Rifleman, move out. Uh, well, what I can do is bring up all my units up over here and try to destroy this, but what we've really got to do is just wait it out a bit. I'm pretty sure after a couple of seconds now, the lady should pop up again, hopefully. If not, maybe they do want us to go ahead and attack. But you finish this off with a couple of orcas and then it's all over. This is definitely... I guess these have... Uh, the upgrades on them for the power plants. New bonus objective. Unit under attack. Unit lost. Wait. Keep your weapon ready. You guys should actually do something. Establishing the Affirmative. Those non vehicles present a problem, Commander. Build an airfield and then some orcas. They are great against ground vehicles and good against structures. However, orcas have limited ammunition and will return to their airfields when they run out. Yes, sir, we'll hold the line. Income and transmission. Orca reinforcements are set to arise. Clear to engage. Yes, sir. Make a point. Okay, so we can lose and afford to lose everyone. I'll Building. need to build an airfield. Hold your ground, soldiers! I'm surprised how far these guys already made it, but then again, these scorpion tanks aren't really the best against infantry. Stay together now! Alright, so we've built the airfields. Time to build it. We need a bit of power. Objective complete. Building. They're gonna come for us, and uh, that's all their base is. Looks a little bit menacing, but really it's not. It's mainly just power plants. Incoming transmission. And just basic it's stuff. imperative that you destroy the Nod base. Indeed, it is. Commander, Otherwise, we won't be able to power. complete For the mission. For power, build a power plant from your production tab. Each landing pad can only sustain one air unit. Each airfield has four landing pads. Once an air unit has expended its ammo supply, it must return to its landing pad. Otherwise, it will crash. That's an old iron cannon machine or building. Interesting. New bonus objective. What else can we find around here? Not much. Broken down shacks. After all, this is the North Carolina Badlands, and I guess it's almost the end of the Earth or world. Bring up these orcas just to destroy this stuff. Closing in. Approaching target. Take it out. Commencing attack. That's pretty simple. As the building sinks into the ground, we'll just go ahead and get one more attack. What special abilities do they have? Reveal is nearby stealth units. So Nod's a really good um, quick attack type of uh, well, team. They're really good with stealth and they're good if you just want to rush. Whereas GDI are really good if you want to turtle Shields your way open. up, which is the way I like Systems to play. Go. And of course they do have aircraft, whereas I'm pretty sure Nod don't. Moving in on the target. Let's go for this first off, and then we'll get the iron cannon. Nod base is quite large, Commander. I'm granting you access to the ion cannon controls. Use the ion cannon to eliminate the base. That was a bit simple. It's also ion quite surprising that we get the active. ion cannon so ion quickly. Ion cannon controls online. Positioning over eastern seaboard. Fire when ready. Objective complete. Normally, ion cannons don't do anywhere near that damage, but excellent work, Commander. Pretty excellent. All right, let's go get briefed by the uh, Sam Fisher or the voice of Sam Fisher back into Washington DC in the blue zone, which of course is where the Tiberian Commander. is not there. No, it's clearly planning something and judging by the size of that force you exposed, it's a major offensive. Now I've already called for a, an emergency D9 briefing, but the timing couldn't be worse. All the directors are up in the Philadelphia at that damn energy summit. And I'm God sorry knows to interrupt, General. I've just been informed. There's been an attack on Goddard Space Center in Maryland. We should be receiving visual data any second. Good Lord. You realize what they've done? Nods has just taken out the entire Northeastern ASAT defense system. All our anti-missile capability. The Philadelphia. Them help us.
That would help us indeed. Well, that was at least the very first mission. It took us 9 minutes and 16 seconds. And uh, they had a pretty good unit to death ratio. Or kill to death ratio. But until next time, we'll be playing a, another episode. I'll try to finish this off in like a week or so. So we'll be able to play all the other new games that are starting to come out finally. I didn't really like it previous games that we were playing which is why we ended the let's plays but until then let's see you guys later